Nearly a thousand subway stations and commuter rail stations around the country are inaccessible to the millions of Americans who have a disability. But tucked away in the infrastructure bill signed by the president is money to help address that inequity. We saw for ourselves here in Washington why it's so critical. Transportation is the, the key to everything. Lee Page depends on Washington's metro for work. Going down. Well, this is a clean elevator. Some of them are pretty disgusting. You know, smell and dirt. As one of the newer mass transit systems in the country, the DC metro is also one of the most accessible. But catching a train is not always easy. It's not level boarding, and so I have to do a kind of like a running wheelie to get on and off the train. That, that happened to me once where I fell. Lee is a disability rights advocate who lost the use of his legs in a car crash when he was 19. For people like him, nearly a thousand subway and rail stations around the country aren't accessible at all. The trillion dollar infrastructure law signed by President Biden last month contains $1.75 billion to chip away at the problem which is worse in older cities like New York and Boston. Their transit systems were built before accessibility standards became law. You know, often for these transit agencies that want to do the right thing, they felt like they had so little funding that they had to choose between accessibility and investments in safety. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg is charged with implementing much of the infrastructure bill, including the new money to improve accessibility with things like new elevators, ramps and lighting. Any of us, uh, really, uh, who may not identify as part of the disability community today may age into it tomorrow. About 20 percent of transit stations around the U.S. do not meet the standards of the Americans with Disabilities Act, which passed in 1990. That number is closer to 75 percent in New York City. Lots of our transit infrastructure was grandfathered in under the law and wasn't required to be made accessible. Outdated stations especially impact commuters with disabilities because many of them can't drive or afford a driver or an expensive specialized car to get around. One concern from the disabled community is that the bill only makes this money for accessibility available. It doesn't force transit agencies to use it. Senator Tammy Duckworth, a double amputee, had originally called for $10 billion for accessible transit, more than five times what was eventually passed. But Buttigieg tells Spectrum News he sees potential for more down the line. $1.75 billion is a lot of money. I do think as we prove the effectiveness of these investments, that will also make it possible to build momentum for more such investments in the future. Lee has been part of that momentum since the 1970s as part of the group who sued to make sure DC's Metro had elevators in the first place. Now he hopes more people like him can access public transportation like this. In Washington, Street Austin Landis, Spectrum News. All right.